the coast of Italy environmental improvements. Amid coronavirus lockdown, dolphins and other sea life have started swimming closer and closer to the shores of Italy. People have taken to Twitter to share videos and photos of nature doing hard reset. This is a video of two dolphins swimming right up by the port of Cagliari, the capital city of the Italian island of Sardinia. Before now, the water in the ports has never been clear enough for any sea life other than some small fish. <laughs> the residents of Venice are noticing a vast improvement in the quality of the famous canals that run through the city, which are running clear for the first time in years, and fish can even be seen in the usually murky waters. Air pollution levels and warming gases are showing significant drops around the world in light of the COVID-19 emergency. In China, in particular, there has been a drastic change in their levels of air pollution. These two NASA satellite images of China show the incredible difference in their air quality and how drastically it changed from the space of just one month due to the intense lockdowns that have been put in place. Most of the reduction is from nitrogen dioxide, NO2, in cities, which can be released from car exhausts. NO2 is not a greenhouse gas, but can be harmful for human health, increasing the likelihood of respiratory problems. The emission of atmospheric particles, known as PM2.5, has also reduced. These particles are a leading cause for environmental poor health. It is possible to estimate that with the things at a standstill in China for two months, 80,000 premature deaths have been prevented, said Professor John Wenger from the Center for Research into Atmospheric Chemistry at UCC. But as it seems, China has managed to get a handle on the COVID-19 outbreak. Nitrogen dioxide emissions are increasing again as life begins to resume in the country. China have even taken to disinfecting whole cities due to the coronavirus outbreak. We are even experiencing some environmental changes in local places ourselves. These are a few pictures of the daughter where the water is running a lot clearer than before. Seeing environmental changes like this in our local places tell us how easy it is to make a difference in our day-to-day -day lives. People online are also noticing a difference in the better condition of the Dublin streets. As people aren't leaving their houses, the roads are getting clearer and free of litter. The pollution in Spain is very high. There's a lot of traffic that cannot be stopped. There are always many factories installed and operating day and night without stopping in the cities. The smoke rises and causes a lot of pollution. Now the pollution is going down because people are not working, so there is hardly any traffic and the factories are already closed. In the past, extensive forests of Spain have been destroyed over the years due to unplanned cutting, forest fires and poor farming practices. The attempts to implement reforestation schemes by the government have not been very successful. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, the streets of Spain have gotten a lot cleaner and the air pollution has gone down dramatically. Seeing how much the environment has improved since quarantine just goes to show how much we can do in our day-to-day -day lives. After isolation and quarantine ends, we should all try and think about keeping this environmental welfare.